Hey everyone, we're two game developers and we are making a game every two weeks and documenting our journey on this YouTube channel. For this project, we're diving into the fascinating world of evolution, or specifically natural selection. Make sure to stay until the end of this video to watch our final results. Our first mission was to study and get interested in a topic that we knew very little about. Here we have Liam learning more about natural selection. Through YouTube videos, blogs, books, and even other video games, we discovered the absolute basics of how organisms branch out into wildly different creatures. So first of all, what is evolution and more specifically natural selection? Well, I think Mr. Jerry here in this great book explains it very well. Basically, life started with one very primitive life form and gradually over time, that single life form branched out into several new and diverse species. Now, of course, this is a game development YouTube channel. We're not gonna linger too long into all this scientific wumbo jumbo, no matter how fascinating it really is discovering that everything, every living creature we know from trees to reptiles and birds comes from the same primitive glum looking fish. A simple example, we have a bunch of grey mice living on a beautiful white beach, sadly victims of a giant predatory owl. The mice are all grey with slight variations, some lighter, others a little darker. It's known that mice with fur whose colour matches up more with the sand colour have a higher chance at surviving. Since they'll be better camouflaged, therefore over thousands and thousands of years, these particular mice will lose their grey fur replaced by white to match the sand. This is because in general lighter mice survived longer and so had more chance of reproducing and passing on their lighter fur genes. This mice example is of course just one out of many. I think the game we're gonna go for is that you're a sort of scientist and you're gonna be in this laboratory uh, creating these unique creatures, these new forms of life by mixing and matching creatures together and adding pieces to your laboratory. For our first experiment, Liam and I used, as usual, the Unity game engine. With basic shapes, we wanted to create a tiny simulation where little creatures evolve and breed depending on their interactions with the environment. I created three basic shapes in Photoshop, several dozen appendages to stick to the character's base. Liam began coding out the basic system in C Sharp. For example, if a character goes to the ice biome and also dives into a lake, he'll sprout fluffy white hair to keep warm. This is of course far from realistic. Species don't just magically grow horns and wings out of thin air. This is a painstakingly slow phenomena that takes place over thousands of years. The studying we did on natural selection is just a launch pad for inspiration and delicious food for thoughts. So after one day we pretty much had a cast of colourful critters running about and multiplying, with parents passing on their genes to kids. In our experiment, a gene is one of the character's traits, such as these juicy eyes. The eyes would have a gene strength stance. The higher this is, the more likely it will get passed on. This first project got our creative juices flowing, but we weren't satisfied by it. It just seemed like we were spotting creatures with random sprites. The next day, we resumed our experimentation. Liam and I like using these large sheets of paper to brainstorm and make plans. We had two very different ideas that could both fit the theme of natural selection. So we began prototyping separately. I made a game where we need to balance a very simple ecosystem by keeping each tribe the same number of members. This is done by controlling the gene strength stats for each tribe, lowering it or increasing it depending on the number of members. In the meantime, I once again overindulged in the awesome AI art generation tool Midjourney, creating strange and beautiful looking mashups of lions and elephants, reptiles and birds, and just seeing what the AI art generation tool could come up with. Unfortunately, nothing really came out of this little experiment, no cool new simulations. All I ended up with was, you know, the ability to drag and drop cards into each other, just smash them together and create new creatures, new monsters. On the third day, we watched a great video from Primer, an introduction to natural selection. It's also around this time that I received this great book, both of which came in handy for our future creations. Primer clearly shows that a big part of what makes natural selection so damn fascinating is the slow, clever, purely organic way creatures evolve to adapt to given circumstances. As game developers, we needed to create an environment and a unique species with a set of rules. For example, this creature needs one food every 10 seconds, and the world spawns food every two seconds. Then creatures could spawn a kid that has similar stats as both parents with a few random mutations. Each creature would then have different stats, such as speed, attractiveness, size, and endurance. We could then press play and watch which stats would be most important for survival. After a couple of minutes, the remaining and surviving creatures would be the most well-adapted 
to this specific world. In our case, we made wiggly looking squids, their appearance giving a clear indication on their stance. For example, glowing yellow means this is a particularly attractive critter, and thin tentacles means this bugger has high endurance, oh, yeah. requiring less foods to survive. Then we added a little button to speed up the passing of time, and watched in awe as our creature slowly mutated to survive in this simplistic game world. This was a fun little simulation to create, but it lacked interactivity. It was therefore time for yet another brainstorming session and hopefully this time the last one. So we really quite struggled coming up with game ideas because natural selection at its finest is just nature doing its own thing and species evolving and adapting to better survive in any given biome. So perhaps the solution was just for the player to actually control the environment or create an environment with certain rules and then just have creatures walk around and survive and interact with that environment. It's Liam that came up with a great little outline for this last experiment. Four tribes divided by walls would undergo twisted tests from the player, the survivors passing on their genes while the weak or unadapted would vanish. So you want a creature that can abstain from food, then you would perform endurance tests, weeding out weak-hearted characters and carefully breeding a more resistant species. Time was of course running out and we were both very excited by this idea. Cherry on the cake, once all tribes had undergone 10 tests, the walls would be removed, food would spawn and an all-out brawl would break loose. Creatures scavenging for food and attacking rival tribes. While Liam made progress on the system, I made art and a little character customization slider that would mutate characters depending on their stats. Then we mashed up Liam's prototype with my art and ended up with a small local multiplayer simulation game we called Tribal Mutations. There's more than 32,000 different end results for each character, with all five body parts having eight different forms. We suggest you play with friends and family and see who can evolve the most deadly endurance species. Your creatures need food, the weaker your endurance, the more they'll need. But they also need health to withstand enemy blows. A fast attack speed will go a long way to defeating a rival. And speed can be used in combination with a deadly attack to quickly jump from critter to critter. To perform tests, you'll need to type out a value, say 3, then if you click on an endurance test, for example, all creatures with less than 3 endurance will perish, while the survivors will duplicate with random mutations. So make sure to play this little experiment, the link is in the description, it's completely free, and please give us your feedbacks in the comment section down below. So for the next topic that we'll explore, let us know in the comments what you would like to see us you know, create. Do you want us to make a game based on history, culture, magic tricks? Make sure to subscribe to the Blackthorn Prod YouTube channel, there is a new devlog coming out every two weeks so if you're interested in the world of game development and want to learn how we make games then subscribe by the way if you want to learn how to create games we have five different Udemy courses they'll teach you step by step how it is done from creating platformers to turn by turn strategy games and even multiplayer games we have you covered for the price of a frappuccino you can learn instead an incredibly valuable skill the links to all the courses are in the description yeah yeah <laughs>